factory tips, except for there's an extra step in there. After you factor, then you flip the second rational expression over, and it becomes a multiplication problem. Okay? Dividing by a fraction, dividing by a rational expression is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So if we've got something like example A here, we do want to go through and we want to factor, okay? Um, so the numerator, let's see here, has a GCF of two. The denominator is already in factored form, but I'm gonna write it out as x minus one times x minus one, because I think that visually that makes it a little bit more clear what needs to cancel. Um, I'm going to leave it as division for the moment. Okay, I'm going to factor first and then I'll flip it over. So when we factor the first numerator, we take out an x, we're left with 2x minus 3. And we factor the second denominator, that would be x plus 3 times x minus 1. Now I'm going to keep the first one exactly the same. Nothing changes about your first expression. This turns into multiplication, and you flip the second one over. And now we can cancel. 2x minus 3 is in the numerator and the denominator. There is 1 x minus 1 in both the numerator and the denominator. There's still one left in the denominator. So when we collect what we've got left, we've got a 2 times x plus 3 in the numerator. We have an x times x minus 1 in the denominator. Okay. Now, I did that one slowly on purpose. Okay, this next one I'm going to save myself some writing. I'm going to factor and flip at the same time. Okay, so the first one, y minus 3 times y plus 2 over y plus 3 times y plus 3. As I mentioned, I'm going to factor and flip at the same time. So I'm flipping it. The y plus 3 is now in the numerator, and y minus y squared minus 4 is y plus 2 times y minus 2. So we've got a y plus 2 in the top and the bottom. We've got a y plus 3 in the top and the bottom. So we are left with y minus 3 on the top over y plus 3 times y minus 2. So you do have to be very careful with these because that's as simple as it'll go, but if you messed up a sign there, you're going to end up canceling out something that should not be canceled. Okay, let's look at example three. Ooh, no numbers except for our exponents, but it's okay. We can handle that. The first numerator. There's nothing to be done there. Okay, so we leave it as x plus y. The first denominator, we need to take out an x. So we're left with, oh, excuse me, we need to take out an x squared. My bad. We need to take out an x squared. We are left with x minus 1. I'm flipping and factoring at the same time. So the second denominator becomes the numerator. If flipping and factoring at the same time is too much, that's fine, okay? Don't try and cram it all in one step. You're just going to have to write a little bit more. Well, I would rather you write a little bit more and get it correct than, you know, be worried about not writing as much and mess something up, okay? So, we've got x plus y in the top and in the bottom. we got an x minus 1 in the top and the bottom. We have an x and an x squared, so we are left with 1 in the numerator. We've got 1x left in the denominator and the x minus y left in the denominator. Okay. 
Okay. Final one. So that first numerator, x minus 9 times x plus 7. First denominator, nothing to be done there. You want to put parentheses around it, that's fine, help you out. Flipping and factoring the numerator, the new numerator, factors into x times x minus 1. The new denominator doesn't really look like there's factoring that needs to be done, but looking at the other numerator, I can see that if I factor out a negative 1, then I end up with that factor from the first numerator, the x minus 9. Okay, all I did was take out a negative 1. When you take out a negative 1, it changes your signs. So I can cancel the x minus 9, and that's the only thing I can cancel here. Now that negative 1, though, we don't leave negatives in the denominator. So I'm going to slide it up to the numerator with that x. And that's it. Yes, ma'am. Because the 9 was positive and I took out a negative 1 out of both of those. So the x became positive and the 9 became negative.